for public servants. Leaders of NOTU rejected salary enhancements issued by the Finance Ministry's Permanent Secretary Keith Mahakanizi in March this year on grounds that the enhancements contradicted the agreed increments. Christopher Werike is the Secretary General of the National Association of Trade Unions and he joins us in studio to shed more light on their decision taken today. Good evening and welcome to NTV tonight. Thank you. Good evening, viewers. Yeah, let's start at the point of, you know, harmonizing all discrepancies in salaries because this is the reason, first of all, why you had given the ultimatum. And what we what we know now is that uh, work will resume. There will be no stoppages, you know, as of today. But how sure are we? Because promises change like the weather in this era of, you know, hard economic times. Uh, the anticipation for, you know, the next financial year could not be approved. <coughs> What's the future ahead? Uh, what I can say is, one, is to, to inform my members who, who gave not to benefit of doubt mm. that we have come to deliver the promise we informed you that all civil servants, totaling 350,000 in this country, are going to benefit on this salary enhancement. Secondly, <clears throat> we have also been having a mix of associations and the trade unions. Associations deal with the ethics, ethics, practices at place of work. Trade unions entirely do for your rights and your negotiations. So once these two are separated, you get to know that this is what you are going to benefit. I will give you an example. Uh, when Uganda Medical Association was uh, championing for salary enhancement, they only looked at doctors, and these are about 3,000 people. Where were they going to leave 350? And that's why I said, no, stop. This is the body going to do for you, and we have got that plan. So yesterday, we signed an agreement delivering the promise of what trade unions do. In terms of uh, whether government is not going to pay, we have done the agreement. You know, when you go at an association, which I was going to tell you people, associations run with directives, a directive from the, the prime minister, we are going to increase all that. You go to MOOBS, go to Makiri. They have so many directives which are not implemented. But for a trade union, right from the time of you saw medical workers strike, you saw the strike of the teachers, they have been paying. So I want to assure Ugandans that the agreement we have entered in is real. It's not just a directive, and it's in tandem with the laws of this country and international. And aren't you worried as, you know, the leaders of the union, NOTU especially, that the government will listen to associations? You know, the best example is the strike by the doctors, by the Uganda Medical Workers Association. And, the, of course, it prompted action from the government and promises were made, and the enhancements as given to them that day, are uh, you know going to be affected in the next financial years of course in terms of salary increments and what doesn't that worry you on how you do your work between you know the two bodies me uh, as far as i'm concerned government since the time they came to sign my agreement they said they can no longer work with associations they have to work with trade unions anybody who is going to join an association is going to be captured doing an illegal strike and that's what i don't want anybody to be advised to People must join trade union and be championed so that if you are arrested, you know where your rights belong. But in an answer, you not have the rights. In terms of the medical workers, as like I told you, while they could have championed, where were they going to leave the drivers? Where are they going to leave the police? Where are they going to leave the prisoners? That is the question. Are you saying that every time we are going to wait for a section of people to be striking? We have now streamlined. From now on, we have streamlined and we're telling Ugandans that this is the right path. Associations come back to the trade unions. When you do that, you'll be found illegal in that arrangement. You know, there's probably a reason why these, you know, associations do not want or probably have not joined, because what I know is that you have 33 unions out of 42 as not to, and seven of them are government, of course, still operating on their own, and then the others are also operating separately, independently. Of course, the government notices that there is a bit of disorganization mm -hmm. in, in the way, you know, all this is being done. So it settles for uh, talking to, you know, people as a group. The judiciary will rise up and they'll talk to them. The teachers will come up and they'll talk to them. 
and give them separate you know answers to their questions you know in life there are ups and downs yeah. even uganda has lost a lot of things it's just now rebuilding so i want to say that we have also had challenges as trade unions but for now we are now back on the right track so i would want to assure you that the the services we are going to deliver to the members is going to be spab not only in the government come to private sector private sector people are enjoying superviation national water all this the likes they are moving on very progressively it has just been a government which has been a missing link which we have now corrected in the evil leadership so for now i can tell you business is good but in life the ups and downs which ups and downs have been also resolved through leadership rangos you know that that two centers we have what so you can now see the other center has faced out it's now not to crying for the people in uganda and we're back on the, the right route where we've been we have had a challenge with you know uh, teachers and of course lecturers that uh, almost at the beginning of the next school term this is when they rise up and say you know we want this and we want that and we're not going to teach of course you not to the fact that is not you know uh in no to is it something that you're looking at including and and getting a lasting solution because we have had these stories repeatedly and people watching out there of course know that you know this story is repetitive but can we find a lasting solution i would like to correct you that you not is a member of NATO and is one of the signatories which signed yesterday on the agreement medical workers are signatories nurses are signatories local government are signatories these are major people in the system the other center has nothing so there's nobody who is right now outside the bracket in terms of uh, breakdowns they are not going to be there i want to assure you that we have in this increment the agreement provides for medical personnel it provides for health workers who are not doctors and surgeons it provides for legal and prosecutors it provides for police and prisons it provides for staff of universities eh? it provides for teachers but this time i want to do an emphasis on teachers it's for post primary post primary has to come up the primary teachers will follow later so this is the categories where we have appended the six. so who has been left out there is nobody and everybody has been taken care of and in my message i have said the last person in this country has been running 189,000 as a driver and a nursing assistant but from now up to 2021 they are going to go up to not less than 1 million shillings and that is something good for the lowest person so police have been running 200 in my in our projection we have signed they are going to go to less than not 1 million so we expect comfort in terms of security comfort in terms of dealing with people because if the lowest person has been lifted that's where we are heading with the issue of middle income class so civil servants have now started the journey of what the the president promised in the in in, in his manifesto so yeah. others will follow you know the old age of uh, more money more problems and you're talking about money how do you come up with these figures that you know uh, we want the least person uh, earning at least one million shillings have you considered you know all the benefits and probably you know all the other uh, salary benefits that that person should include and um, because one would wonder how do you come up with those figures you know for teachers police and everybody that you're talking about you see in every, everything you do you live on projections uganda is having a budget of 36 trillion are you sure it's gone all gone to collect that so we've done this in view of all that is going to happen for this year there is provision of 536 billion that one has already been captured Cap nothing can go off on that side so the other year which is going to fall in terms of resources is going to be also capped because also we who are earning salaries are going to participate in contributing taxes and in a way money should be realized as we go along so in life you must be optimistic don't be pessimistic you will die on the way because even these people who are in the village even if there is hunger anywhere they must find over how to survive so in as long as you are surviving things will always improve because for me what i know is this country every time it is passing it's growing not only just growing but 
much better. Oil is there, gold is in Mobende. Mm. We are now, coffee has improved in, in my region. So what is making you to fear? There's a lot of food we are now eating. There's a lot of beans, there's a lot of maize at low price. So I'm very optimistic that where we are heading, things are moving in that normal situation. So we're in an ideal situation. The breaker, of course, uh, by Honorable Yomoki on the other side. Uh, are you in touch to see that you harmonize probably and come up as you know one strong body to agitate for, see, for everybody's me, rights? Yeah. For me, I, I can assure you, my colleagues, that all the members of of uh, civil servants, I'm with them. He has nobody. So why do I run to look for somebody who is having nothing? The private sector, all my unions are functioning. Eh? Now, he should be the one to look for me. Because for me, right now, my followers are many. Eh? NRM is on top. FDC cannot say, let me follow you. No, it can't be. Mm -hmm. So for now, it's Dr. Yamuk to look for me. Because I have served the people the way they want. Eh? I have seen, I've shown you the argument. This is the first argument by the own record. By the own record. This is the birth of the trade unions. I have made the first agreement in life which Dr. Yamuk never made. For him, he made for only medical workers. We have made for 350 civil servants. So he should look for me. I can't look for him. Thank you very much, uh, Christopher Werike, the Secretary General for National Organization, National Association of Trade Unions. And we will end it here, but of course, let's hope for the best like he promises. And of course, if you're out there and you, you probably uh, feel you you will be sorted out by joining the uh, trade unions, then please do. And uh, let's end this whole push and pull that comes about, especially for teachers and lecturers. That was Talk of the Nation. News Bite is brought to you by I said drive Uganda improving road safety that we are there, that I'm a chairman of Mwasa and by isolating me